because it's fun. Right. So I got a comment, which first of all is surprising in and of itself. Um, just as a side note, I'm aware that a few of the videos I put out a few weeks ago haven't been as good, but I think I'm getting back on my stride, and I think that's actually showing in that my views are coming back up and things like that. And while I don't like to look at the numbers, I make this for me. Um, I am happy that um, y'all are enjoying it, and I'm seeing more comments and things like that. I'm also enjoying this kind of style with my screens in the background because it allows me to display things if I want to. We'll see how this goes, but for now I'm going to use this for a little bit. And we might go back to the display behind me, or even just type cam if need be. And we'll see how things go. But anyway, I got a comment from Phoebe Green, thank you Phoebe, saying, how do I get the motivation to work on my projects while I'm in school? Because, as I've said a couple of times, I am still involved in education, I'm a sick former. I'm currently in year 12, and I also do, well, all of these things. Um, so, how do I do it? A lot of people wonder that. Um, no. Really, it's just because I enjoy it. And I'm aware that's a really, like, it's not a useful answer. And I'm aware that, like, I can give some tips on motivation, but, like, really, it's just because I enjoy making things. And I've always wanted to make things to make people's lives better. And that's what those were all for in weirder ways than others, some of them, particularly Bebop. But it entertained people, it made people laugh. And if I can make people laugh, I can make people smile. If I can make people smile, I'm making their life better. That's what I'm going for. Um, so it's really just a case of I want to do it. And I enjoy doing it most of the time. Obviously, with some of the things I do, there are... Um, Particularly with like my commissions and stuff, there are financial motives. Um, but no, the things I work on myself, the things I talk about in this series are um, because I enjoy them. I have struggled with my motivation before, mainly because um, I don't talk about this all that much because I don't like to be too much of a downer, but I suffer with um, mental health issues. I have done for years now. Um, it's not a new thing, so don't worry. In terms of getting myself through things like that, getting myself through to doing projects on a low. I... You have to have a foil. Now, I'll explain what I mean by that. Basically, you have to have someone, something, or some group that is relying on you to do this thing, and they will be disappointed if you don't. Now, that might not sound healthy, and if you have something that you're not absolutely confident in, then don't do that. But if you have something that you're confident will be good, and you want to create a thing, tell people about it and get them excited for you making it. Ex get them excited for the process of it being done, as well as the completed project. Because that way, you will have a reason to keep going because other people want to see it, other people are relying on you. And even then, like knowing that people are interested, that's a good thing, that will keep you motivated. Um, but it also means that you have people to disappoint if you don't. So it's both a good and a negative reason for you to keep going, thus it's much more likely to work. See, I find it difficult to give motivation advice because I've always just like, again, I suppose I would just have to say, like, I'm aware it's such a terrible answer, but do what you enjoy. Like, if you have something that you enjoy doing, just do it. Like, and pertaining to doing it around school, if you enjoy it, you'll want to do it in your free time. Um, I do these things because I enjoy doing them in my free time. I don't play games all that much, I don't um, do a lot of reading, I don't do much else other than making these and working on this technology stuff because that's what I enjoy. And it just so happens that most of that can be put into videos. So yeah, talk player. We made tons of videos on that and it was just something I was doing because A, I knew it could make people alive better and B, I enjoyed it. It's not working yet, but swing some roundabouts. Um, I will give a proper update to projects next week because the state of them is still up in the air but basically I have other things going on right now, um, other technological based things but it basically my life is about to get a lot busier so I need to work out what I'm going to do in terms of putting time into these. Um, we're still working on scheduling. But I think that about answers the question. Do things you enjoy, do things that make people's lives better and you'll be motivated to do them. And do things that people are interested in, because if people are interested in them, then you have a reason to make them. I think that about closes up the video. Sorry for it being a ramble, but I'm gonna try and put some um, graphics in and make it a little bit nicer. 
because I care about my craft. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Hope that answers your question, Phoebe. And if anyone has any other questions on like things I've made on if you want to hear the story of Bebop, which I've talked about in passing, um, if you want to hear about how Sapphire's getting on, if you want to hear about our plans for Talkfly, do let me know. Like, I, if you want to hear about something, tell me. Because I will be happy to make a video about it, because it means I don't have to think of something to make. Um, yeah. Right. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. I need a better outro. Because, like, saying see you next time when I split display see you next time on the screen for like 10 seconds doesn't work. I need an intro, an outro. Ooh, this'll do.